Hey, how you doing? I hope it's been another blessed week for you. Um, and that you were, you're, you're moving through this whole experience with, uh, with some humor and uh, trust and, 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 and fearlessness. As crazy as it all is. Crazy. Hey, I wanted to share something with you. Um, I had a long conversation with a dear friend of mine in L.A. talking about the state of Hollywood right now. You know, it's all industry, right? It's just, we don't know what's going to come out of, out of all this, out of this, this crash, this economic crash. Um, but Hollywood is struggling. It's been a fat, bloated cow for a long time in terms of the way it runs business. Netflix has just handed Hollywood its ass over the years, so they've all been waking up and streamlining and, and getting better at the process, right? Um, but just the same, trust me, you know, you, all you have to do is be on a movie set and watch people standing around and understand how much it costs per minute to be on a, on a, it's just shocking, it's shocking the money that's wasted. One of my great heroes all over the years, always Clint Eastwood, he always finished his films on time and under budget. And he was famous, famous for one take two and moving on, setting up quick and moving on and keeping the thing hopping. Sorry, that's going to start blowing on you. Um, I'll try to cover it and protect it. Um, so look, what, 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 what I'm reaching out about is that, you know, he, John was saying, hey, look, man, Hollywood's, you know, and I said, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. But I'm going to tell you something. And this is to all of you out there that are on this newsletter because you are actors or one of, some element of this business, directors, filmmakers, Etc. I know I have a lot of people on this newsletter who are, you know, they just come to us because they feel some of the content has value just for any dream. And I hope to always, you know, fulfill that, help that, but nurture that. But this now is going to all you in, in this business, okay? And that is this. Look, I'm going to tell you, I swear to God this is true. I've been saying this for years and now it's even more true than ever. And that is what we do is going to be more important than ever. The ability to communicate, the ability to look into a camera and either like this or some type of online business or social media or things like that. But then, of course, just the actual filmmaking, the storytelling process. To be a communicator, to have a voice on this planet is never going to be more important than it is. I'm telling you, I'm positive. And I've known that prior to all this. I've felt that anyway, I should say. And now with this, I feel it more than ever. There's going to be so many stories that come out of this. So, and, and so that's what I really want to encourage you to begin doing. You know, from right from what you know, what either present day or five years from now or 10 years and of course you can write some more pandemic type of films and that's going to be the proliferation now with well hollywood will do to pander to the fear to that dynamic right that everyone experienced but you can also us as storytellers we can tell the the, the inspirational stories the magical stories the amazing stories the the, the heartbreaking stories you know, for sure. But the things that really are, are deep and soulful, because this was such a deep and soulful event, whether it's films or plays or, or web series or, or music or your songs or dance or any of the arts, to have this be the, the, the wellspring of that, this experience. Sandy used to say his great, uh, one of his favorite quotes was for the German poet Anga. I was, I've shared this many times over the last five and a half years that I've been doing these newsletters. And the quote was, out of great pain come my little songs. Out of great pain come our little songs. How true is that? Right? So from this experience, from these ashes, man, let's, let's rise up. Let's tell stories. Let's, let's, let's create from this experience and, and write from, from such a rich, deep place and create from such a dip, deep, rich place. That's what I'm doing. I'm working on, I was working on a project prior, but now I'm going to be working on a, a new one entirely, having to do with all this. So I want to encourage you to do the same. And, and, and no matter how much, how bad you hear it's going to get with Hollywood, etc., and it will be. People, uh, the world is going to actually want more content having to do with this and stories, etc., A, and just more content anyway to be distracted, certainly, but to be inspired and enlightened and educated. Hell, documentaries, you know, about what the hell went, went, wrong, went down here. 
There's already a lot. They're coming out already, right? But you tell your own. Look. We're creative beings, all of us. And those of us that have accepted our true calling of being art actors, filmmakers, etc. You know, we're, we have this creative gene inside of us like nothing else that we're, we're willing to foster and nurture. And it's, it's time to do that. It's time. This is a, a rich time to create. Okay? I think so. That's what I'm going to do. I hope you do too. Hope you have a great week doing that. My best.